Hello all, welcome to Illuminate the Oracle. Welcome and welcome back. Happy to have you as always. Um, so, you know what? <laughs> There's some things to, to discuss today. It's, it's about a reading. It's not about a reading. We're in a reading right now. We're having a reading right now. <laughs> So, all right. So let's go ahead and do this prayer. All right. <laughs> Father God, Mother Divine, Archangel Michael, please cover me and my collective as we receive these messages today. We only seek messages of your highest vibration. Messages that you deem for us to receive. Any ill will or evil eye energy sent our way is immediately blocked. Return that energy back to its rightful owner. Bind them in their own energy so it can never harm anyone again. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I was called to do a reading today about something very specific. It's a little bit of a trend that I've noticed um, kind of reappearing in and out of readings about this uh, reiteration of protection, um, letting my my people know that y'all protected, that attempts have been made, but that you were always covered under the light of his protection, under father protection. And so... And a lot of y'all are working, working and rolling with your spiritual team. So you're not alone. <laughs> You've never been alone. And um, a lot of things just started to kind of like pop out um, before my walk this morning. I, I felt like, okay, I need to just go ahead and just <laughs> go on the walk before we dig into this. Um, but literally, and I feel like a, a, lot, a, a couple of recent readings have been like this where the first card that starts out is protection evil eye energy you know you're protected you are covered um that's the first card that came out and then i was going through like um the deck and the deck was i realized the deck was telling me a story the cards were just looking weird it was looking quite a like shifty <laughs> and so i was like what is a shifty energy and it's what it's what divine masculine is going through um i'm kind of picking up on like a pair that is like the dynamic is probably like high priestess hair hair font energy where it's like someone is kind of more seen as like maybe uh, more uh, intuitive, more of a healer, and the other one is more of like an organizer, community gatherer. Like the bare bones of like the characteristics of these pairs, kind of what I get from that. So like I was in my mind thinking of the masculine's perspective, divine masculine. Like what is divine masculine going through? And I literally am I'm seeing the kind of baggage that he's going through. I see like someone is, is really in this taking out the trash mode. Not even taking out the trash, but dragging the trash to the curb mode. Um, all right. So let's just dig on into this. Okay. So. What do I even do first? Okay. Just to start off. You're protected. This union is protected. This, this love is protected. It's created and, and and chiseled in stone, my babies. Whatever people, whatever weapons people try to uh, form against you will never, ever prosper. And I'm thinking at this point in time, people may be starting to realize that, that it really is cemented in stone uh, and that it's protected. All right. Someone attempted a curse. All right, this has been coming up quite a bit too, but they did not win. They failed miserably, but I feel like something has caught up and jumped back onto them, okay? This says, wasn't supposed to catch feelings and curse themselves for coming for a divine being. I feel like all of this stems from someone who could not control their feelings. They fell in love and the people around them were attempting to modify the way this person felt by a lot of underhanded kind of things that I'm feeling like were found out here, okay? So, it's looking like, whew, there's been a fall from grace, 
All right, DM is currently DM domestic domestic domestic. Something could be involving some domestic disputes for sure. I didn't say that on accident for no reason. So something there's domestic disputes that have someone or uh, some people falling out of favor. All right, in someone's eyes here. They uh, destroyed it. They were fame hungry. They were caught up on their ego. They had their own preconceived notions. They, they had their own uh, intentions. Their intentions were very, very um, self-motivated. It's like they convinced your person <laughs> I feel like these people tried to convince your person a lot of different things about you. Um, and they, I feel like they tried everything they could to not only manipulate how this, how your person viewed you, um, but also how you view your person. It's all coming out in the wash. Um, because they didn't, their greatest fear was the sense of success between you and your counterpart or them and you. Um, and that this person will feel self-confidence in their movement forward to you. That's what they do not want. All right. So, you know, they're having this fall from grace. It's looking like that this was likely a a, a wife figure or someone who is um, falling out of the role of wife. Maybe they were seen as a wife figure. Maybe they were seen as the, the woman of the house, the lady of the house, the queen of pentacles in the reverse. This is someone that's very manipulative. This is someone that's very money hungry. This is someone that is not secure. This is someone that will likely um, fake the funk um, in order to present something, in order to present a physically prosperous entity when they are the opposite. Uh, I feel like your person may have chosen this person because of an idea or some sort of idea this person was somehow secure or attached to something that was financially beneficial, you know? So this is when your person was in their low vibrational, you know, chasing money era, and they attracted this other person that was in their chasing money era. They attracted what they were. Um, and so this could be one person. This could be two people because we got the Empress in reverse, and we got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So that could literally be one person. That could be literally a person that's wrapped up in both these toxic energies of being um, not stable, um, being an emotional manipul emotional manipulator, hardcore. Um, they're not opposed to using their physical body with the Pentacles in the, uh, in the reverse. They're not opposed to using their physical body in order to get a one up in order to get by they're not opposed to doing some something a little strange for a piece of change kind of vibe um and so yeah so this could be one person um this could be someone that even um maybe attempted to get your person caught up in a pregnancy maybe they tried to say they were pregnant it's like either this person wasn't actually pregnant they don't have the ability to get pregnant or they were pregnant elsewhere uh, like whomever they claimed is the father of the child is not the father of the child is that's the vibe here um so it could be just all one person or it could be two people that orchestrated it could be like um a wife or a former wife or ex-wife or, or a long-term girlfriend and her mother or your person's mother and their ex working together or this is one person that's wrapped into like you know a former or ex-wife entity that is you know being moved away from and so this is someone that um, put in a lot of energy to try to stop the inevitable from occurring here Ooh, but something was found out i don't know if it was something with the books it was just something about your person realizing that, okay, the energy that was expended to keep this facade up, to, to manage and maintain this facade, you know, of love or of a relationship or something steady and dependable, the holding of this facade is now generating less than is being put into it. 
So what's got to give? This is someone that's realized that um, where they're going is a lack of direction. Um, or they're feeling like these people that they chose um, kept them in this energy of a lack of direction of feeling like they didn't know where they were going in life, feeling like they didn't have a purpose. And it's almost like these people preferred your person to be in this energy of not having a purpose, um, of feeling discouraged, depressed, distracted. They probably like to keep this person distracted with a lot of different things, right? Um, to redirect their energy because they always understood that this person had in the upright a spiritual journey that they had to go on. They had a, a hero's journey. They have things to do on a spiritual level. They knew that. And so they wanted to twist it upside down. That was their intention. Yeah, they wanted to create chaos and they wanted to create a sense of missed opportunities for your person, especially as it pertains to this love. Okay, someone's awoken. Someone's awoken. This is the king of wands in the upright. You know, I am. <sighs> I like him this way. I don't always see the king of wands in this energy. You know, he can. He's a multi task. He's a, he's a multi-dimensional king, you know. So sometimes he can be very jovial, very welcoming, and very like king of the party. Right. Sometimes he can be a little bit bullheaded and kind of caught up in her own opinions and expect people to approach him, you know. But here it's like this is someone that has. It's like their engine has been it's like someone is who, who's in there. It's like their engine has been revved up. It's like they're on fire. They've been lit on fire. With that king of wands. Someone is motivated to be a leader now because something has gone off the rail. They realize that like things have gone off the rails here. This is someone that's looking to to grab the reins and take control. This is someone that's now looking to be a leader in this situation, and they're literally quite doing that by clearing the slate here with this queen of, uh, this king of wands energy. I, I hear this person calling these people out because there's something here that they, they the truth was has come out. This is something that uh, this person has discovered. Um, yeah. And it's caused them a lot of regret. Because they understand now why they were cut, why they've been cut out, why they've been kind of left out in the cold when it comes to opportunities, when it comes to like them getting closer to you, why it always seemed to be like this confusion, or why there always seemed to be um, all these walls that would come up. It was like whenever they had the urge to communicate, whenever they had the urge to move in your direction, there was always things that just kind of just magically stop this person from enacting um, their intention. There always is something that was stopping this person's manifestations. And I feel like somebody tried to override this person's manifestations, try to keep this person feeling apathetic, like something was never going to come through for them, no matter how hard they tried. They really wanted, they really wanted to squash a person's optimism that they could ever bring you back to life again, bring you back to life again, bring you back into the world again, back to life. This connection may have died off or, you know, they're, they're looking to they could be looking to bring this connection back to life, back from the past, the six of cups. This is um, a soul contract here. This person feels a soul bond with you that can't be crushed. It can't be killed. They get a lot of like joy and jolly from this energy that you possess. Uh, eight of Wands. There's messages going to be coming on real quickly um, and real suddenly. But it's almost like all quested on the Western Front. But when these messages come in, it's going to be like back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Yeah, somebody wants to communicate a transformation. I'm curious to know how your person found out. Um, I 
Okay. So how did the King of Wands find out about this deception? Let's see. How did the King of Wands find out about this deception? <laughs> it could have been you, Divine Fam. You could have led the way. You could have you could have rang the, the red flag on some of these things. Maybe for some of you guys, you guys have always kind of put maybe little seeds in this person's ear about the people and their surroundings, but maybe they just um, didn't quite believe you. But it says Divine Femme, think positive. So it's like they know that you're not the kind of person that would ever just like put bad information in their ear if it wasn't legit information. I feel like they know you to be someone who's very positive. And very, you know, they know that you think the best of people, regardless of how people end up, you know, treating you in the end, um, that you believe the best, that you, you really hope that people will, you know, do their best to put their best foot forward when it comes to representing who they are properly and authentically. Um, but I do feel like, you know, they may have gotten the heads up from their person about these people in their life. Um, tell me more. How did this person find out about... Yeah, I feel like it's you. They found it out through you. Um, they could have found it out through this kind of late bloomer energy. Someone who just knows things. Someone who just sees things. Someone who has a very powerful imagination and intuition. Someone who's very wise. Someone who goes with the flow. It's, it represents someone for them that always helps them to see new perspectives without ever trying like there's this the cinderella energy so they feel like you you, you go uh, you go to the rhythm of your own band you know the beat of your own drum kind of vibe you know that you have a spiritual team that you tune in with them that's cinderella so they know that you're very mystical and that you tune in with nature you tune in with spirit and they also see that you're all there's something about your energy that is late bloomer. There's something about your energy that's like a lotus flower. It's coming into itself. They're seeing you evolve and come into yourself as well, which is also kind of making your opinion on the matter that much more like potent. <laughs> um, oh yeah, this is someone that wants to be soft and gentle with you. This is someone that views you as soft and gentle. So whomever they view as soft and gentle is Who's what they're taking that person's word for this. Okay. Um, this person could have been with someone that could have attempted to use sex to control them. They could attempt to use sex magic on a wealthy man to perhaps control um, their movements, control how they were to them. Something could have happened six months ago, or something could be happening six months from now. All right. Um, yeah, this is someone that's really upset. They're not getting any sleep. It's, I see someone whose nerves are on fire because they feel embarrassed and regret. So I feel like this person who has lost their seat at the table when it comes to this divine masculine, they're getting no sleep. They're feeling real embarrassed about their um, future now that they've lost their place in this masculine's life it looks like their nerves are on fire because their mask was taken off they were they were shown to be a fraud and this divine masculine is saying they don't want no frauds okay it looks like they it's like the divine masculine is feeling like they kissed a frog when it came to dealing with this person and this person just they thought it was a person but they just turned out to be a frog um, yeah, they're, called, they're being called somewhere else. My siren bay, they're being called somewhere else. Yeah. And they're hanging in there. Starship, they're going, they're following a star. Um, it says drive yourself in charge. So yeah, this is someone that's now taking control. They're no longer, it's like that lackadaisy, Woo! nonchalant energy almost feels like it was self-imposed. Like that's not even a true representation of their energy. It was what they were stuck in. Like I kind of see like stuck in a jar. This, this, this person could have uh, put some kind of jar magic on them. 
to keep them confined or feeling like they were trapped. Uh, yeah. Visions of you taking control. Yeah, they, they have visions of you <laughs> putting it putting it on them because they think about you while they pleasure themselves. But that's just a side note. They're very physically drawn and passionately drawn to you. Um, what is this person's next move toward my collective Holy Spirit? Transformation. This person wants peace between you guys with the peace sign here. It says toxic before. So this person was a toxic baby before, but now they're searching for peace because they've gone through a transformation. All right. All right. What's going to happen? <laughs> Should we even ask? <laughs> even ask. Um... What's going to happen with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? What's going to happen with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? That came out real quickly. The relationship is over. <laughs> Grim Reaper. This could, be, this could be a multitude of meetings, as we all know, okay? For some of y'all, this is like y'all peoples. This is the Grim Reaper. <laughs> Oh, if you got some any kind of Scorpio energy in your chart, people need to stop messing with you. People need to stop playing with you when it comes to their silly little curses. But it's something about your energy that people like to play around in it anyway. People get, just got to see, you know, people got to see. And so the universe will always, always welcome um, people who need proof. Okay. <laughs> The universe will always welcome that. Always. Um, when it comes to this person that tried to stop something from coming toward you, spirit is asking them, asking them, warning them, stating the facts here that something is over, a relationship is over. They're saying that there's no second chances and that all parties should grow and transform their life. Okay? So, um, if they are wise, that will be the their track that they walk down. All right? But it does seem like this person um, is hovering. I feel like this person is hovering to kind of see um, rather your person's going to make a move to you, when they're going to make a move to you, when they're going to try to, this person's, tell me more. Healthy choices. Yeah, because your person's focus on, your person's focused on making healthy choices, so your person's not even like, it's like any kind of moment, the very moment they split away from this person that was putting all this icky energy onto them, it made their ability, whatever they were doing, silly kitchen magic that karma will come back and smack them down ten times. Anywho, um, whatever that was, or whatever that is, it's the moment Divine Mask was able to pull themselves away, that magic was less effective. It's be, it's become less and less and less effective ever since. And depending on how long Divine Masculine has been in their own world and vibe, it could be quite a bit. So it really has no effect. <laughs> Attempted curse will not win. Like it really has no effect. Um, and I feel like this all began because maybe your person thought, maybe they thought that your person was just going to play with you. Was just going to like, you know, use you as a toy and, and, and toss the curve. They thought, they hoped and prayed that would happen. But your person fell in love with you. And they're going to let you know that quite soon. <laughs> love call. Someone expresses love. I'm hearing, um... 
<laughs> so tell me how long how's on, how long it's gonna take before you speak, babe? Cause I can't live my life without you here by my side. That's Maxwell. Um Ooh, that song is called uh, Ascension. That song is called Ascension. Don't you ever wonder. Don't you ever wonder. And don't ever wonder. Should I not realize that you're the highest thug I high? If you don't know what I'm saying, don't know. It's like if you don't realize how much I love you, don't ever wonder. This person doesn't ever want you to wonder how they feel about you. But here's where that King of Wands kicks in. It's like they can't just, they don't, the King of Wands, is, they can't just say it. The King of Wands just, doesn't just speak and say things, you know, they're about action. And so this person in this King of Wands mode is determined to not to tell you don't wonder about my love for you they're in this energy of i have to show them that they should never wonder about my love i need to show them that i'm about these healthy choices now in my life i have to show them that i've grown and transformed my life due to these endings of transformation and and i also have to communicate my emotions to this person Perhaps in a message of love, letting them know that I'm thinking of them, letting them know that I care for them, letting them know that I do love them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like this per your person is heartbroken if they feel as though they left anything um, uncertain or confusing for you. Um, because this feels like someone that really wants, they want it clear. <laughs> they want to they wanna tell it like it is. I'm not a plaything. Go and find yourself a toy. Uh, Aaron Neville, tell it like it is. This person wants to tell it like it is um, to you. And they are in the process of healing their heart. Okay? Healing from this heartbreak. This was heartbreaking, this um, revelation for them. Um, yeah. Show me the energy of Divine Masculine right now. Show me their energy as it pertains to my collective. They want. Setting up the space and opportunity. Ace of Pentacles, setting up the space and opportunity. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Because they're letting go. They let something go here um, with the Three of Cups in the reverse. The getting over betrayal, getting over disloyalty. Um, they are currently in a low time. You know, and yeah. <laughs> they're in a low time and they're thinking about their wish. Thinking about their wish fulfillment. Okay. <laughs> and their wish, would you believe, is the Queen of Wands. Here we are. And now we got the match. King and Queen of Wands. Almost like it's inevitable. And we started off with the king. Now we got the queen. Almost like it was inevitable. You're this person's greatest wish. They're going to let you know they choose you and have always chosen you. You've always been written in this. It's always been written in the stars. You've been written on this person's soul. With the lover's card here, it was like in these wands here. It's like you ignited this person's soul memory of you. 
because I asked, how does this person even know that these people played them? How do they know these people were not um, trustworthy? Because this person knows who, they know who to trust. They know who they've always trusted. And it's like they've been awakened to that now. Ooh, and very, very passionate. <laughs> They're awake. Ooh, we got two knights. Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords. Very passionate to come very quickly. They're very passionate to come very quickly to you. Because before they were resistant to change, um, they may come real quick because they, at first there was a lot of fear. They were ignoring the call. They had a lot of doubt. They were an inner critic to themselves. They were overwhelmed um, with the idea of rather or not you love them the same. Um, or they, they had a lot of fear whether or not they could give you what you deserve. But this person has, they, don't, they only desire to give you what you deserve. So they need to have more faith in themselves that you also have the ability to give to yourself and have every intention on giving just as much as they give, you give. They give, you give. It gives that vibe. And I guess like they're not used to being in situations like that where people truly give as much as they give out. You know, they maybe are, are very used to Use us, all right? So, okay. Whew, this person that's saying that I blamed you for my downfall, but I feel like that was what was being whispered from these parties, these third parties that they were dealing with, was uh, manufacturing to this person. What do they want to say to my collective? Okay. Um, they call these people because they were, these people were sneaking, but they weren't covering their tracks. They were being real sloppy with your person. Because they knew that your person was crazy in love. So they probably, you know, thought that they could be a little sneaky, you know. Um, but this, your person is saying that they can't get you out of their head. Kylie Minogue. Na, 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 I just can't get you out of my head. Yeah. This person is dealing with it. Fake friends, family, lovers, watch out. Yep, they've watched out. They're, they've caught on to it. And now they're getting grounded. Earth element. This person could be an earth element or have earth substantial in their chart. Um, that's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yep, this person says that they lied to you then. So there is something they want to get clear with you about. This person wants you to know that they hate this distance. It could be a physical distance. It could be um, emotional distance. Okay. Um, what can my collective expect as it pertains to this connection? What can my collective expect as it pertains to this connection? Okay. They can expect to bring love to the situation. Bring love into the situation. <laughs> this is so beautiful. And step out of your comfort zone. Because this is your destiny. Um, step out of your comfort zone. Down here it says North Node. So it literally is your destiny to walk down this path. So bring love to it. And it's um, both these cards are purple. So it's like, you know, if you know, this is the kind of love that activated. You both activated each other's um chakras i i can't even say just one it's all the shot the all the above you know you have activated for each other maybe a chakra at a time or all, everyone at once i don't even know maybe i have to go through these in lessons in the form of lessons um but yeah it's inevitable it really is inevitable um all right so we're gonna leave this off it feels very self-explanatory people tried it this union is protected because it's a spiritual connection um, a relationship that uh, a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So 
that's what it was. People can people have tried to figure out what it is between these these pairs that can't be severed. They have a bond that's so so concrete it just can never be severed by anything. Um, act as though your partner is here. So they're already acting as though you already they're already. Woo! It's like they're already acting like they have you, and you could be acting like you already have them. Like y'all already around each other. Like y'all energies could be just already around each other in this preparation. This card says whether you have someone in your life or not, act as though they are with you, so you will always consider them. Yeah. Look at this. Thirty-seven could be significant. That breaks down to a ten. So this is a whole new beginning that you're that you. Both are setting sail on. It's woo because love endures. This card says love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Y'all gonna show everybody what love is. Because I feel like a lot of y'all, neither one of y'all may have grown up with this. It was always destined for y'all to experience it, for y'all to share it. Not to share your love, but, you know, maybe to write about it. <laughs> I don't know. To use it creatively, to transmute the energy, to, to um, I don't know, get through your battles, child. Um, yeah. I think both of y'all kind of struggled on taking a chance on love, but because of, I don't know. Because maybe both of you guys are focused on your foundations first. But the time is now. The time is here. Um, Spirit is asking you to ask for help uh, whenever you feel lost on this mission. Um, what do you really need? Be willing to accept support. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. So Spirit does also want you to be open to accepting support as it pushes it in for you as well. You know, don't be too... Um, it's like you're used to doing a lot of things by yourself, but I do feel like you may be <laughs> getting assistance or someone that wants to collaborate with you, that wants to uh, match your energy or, you know, wants to showcase something to you. Um, because maybe they want, maybe you always acted like a partner for them, but they weren't acting enough like a partner for you or something like that. It's like something about they want to give. They want to put in. Something they want to put in here. Okay? So that's going to be different for everybody. Um, I think... Uh, I'm going to squirrel here. Um, yeah, people are definitely, like, looking to see the progress of when this person's coming toward you. I had, like, a little squirrel that was, like, attached himself to the porch there. Um... Like kind of nosy energy. Um, hmm. We'll end off with messages that this person wants to say to you. But yeah, they're in boss mode. <laughs> they're in king of uh, wands mode. And they're bossing up in their world. You know? So what do they want to say to my collective as they could? They're saying that I hope that you can forgive me one day. I believe so. Because love endures. Whether you get back with this person or not. Maybe this is a sense of closure that you guys need. Um, but this does not feel like someone that you've been in a connection with. This feels like a connection that's just starting. This feels like someone that's coming out of connection that was very brutal for them. That caused them heartbreak. But And so they, will, they probably will be looking to go about this very slowly, but they do want to be very clear about that, you know. Um, this person saying that you speak to me through music, and I'll do one more, darling. Just one more for the road. All right, one more. What does the collective want me to hear from their person? What does the person want to say to collective? One, two, three, as I'm saying this. So there is a, spe a spiritual elevation, an extreme spiritual elevation. Whew. There's an extreme spiritual evolution. Evolution. Why well, keep saying evolution? Evolution has occurred between both parties. Um, an ascension. Okay. Because this is someone who did hide who they really was from you. 
because they feel like you and you maybe you guys were just too young at the time. You know, you guys had to learn about some things and grow through some things. Um, this person is saying that we need to let each other go, but this is these cards. These two cards were flipped over, so this is someone that's getting out of that mixed signal. So they could have been saying in the past, "My life is not together as it seems." So this is what they're working on right now. But lastly, they do say they they love you unconditionally. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, if you feel so called to, definitely like shoot out some healing prayers, love, you know. Um, you know, uh, I pray for, you know, whoever you're praying for, healing and protection along their journey. I pray for healing and protection for them along their journey. Uh, I pray for clarity along their journey. Like, just pray for them in the journey that they have to face ahead. Um, and whatever you pray for them, pray unto yourself, you know, pray that you also have a sense of clarity and healing along your journey. Um, if you so feel called to, if this is your counterpart, if this is a person that you love, then, you know, why not? Um, rather, there's someone that's returning or there's someone that you're just meeting. Uh, the rules still apply, I think. Um, yeah. And I think that's it. Until next time, y'all. Take care of yourself. Oh my goodness. If I can get through. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs>